No, 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 no. He said. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Also, go on the beatenblackandblue.com to get my brand new book. Let's get into this. I don't have time to do a lot of promoting. I want to get right to the meat and potatoes of this video. I don't want to hear nobody, no nobody, say that Joe Biden didn't say the word. He didn't just say. He said it with a hard R on the end of it. Now, let, let me be honest. Let me be honest. Do I think it was intentional? No, I think he's half brain dead. He got one foot in the grave, one foot in China, and he don't know what he's talking about 90% of the time. So he accidentally, from, the, from, the, from, the, from his soul, that word came out very fluidly to say the N-word. Now, I'm going to show it to you because I don't want nobody saying, be Tatum lying. He, he do not know what he's talking about. Tony Biden didn't even say that. I'm going to show you him say it out of his own mouth in a press conference that the whole world heard him say. But because the media and everybody else is so disingenuous and fake, they're not going to put it out there. They're not going to talk about it. They're not going to make a big deal about it. But brother, I remember there was a late female reporter that said the N-word because she matched two, two uh, words together. I think she was a sports reporter. And she was reporting on the Knicks. And she said the Lakers and the Knicks, she put it together, and it was like the Nakers, and they thought she said the N-word. It was, it was outrage. People were wanting her to be fired. How dare she slip and say what's really in her heart. Joe Biden literally said it. It wasn't even close. I'm going to let you guys listen to it because I don't want nobody saying B. Tatum up here lying. I don't lie to you. I'll tell you the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. Roll the film. Look, the range of challenges Europe and the United States must take on together is broad and complex. And I'm eager to hear, I'm eager to hear, I'm eager to hear next. You what? I tell you, I tell you. He said it. From my good friends. No, 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 go back. Go back, cuz. You can't, you ain't get away from this one. Listen to what he said. Look, the rain. First of all, he's a bum, he's a, a, a bumbling fool. I mean, babbling fool is the better word to use. He's just, bleh, 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 and he's reading a teleprompter. How do you accidentally slip and say the N word and you're reading a teleprompter? And if you listen to the rest of the speech, he's stumbling over his brain dead self trying to read a teleprompter and come up with bull crap that he don't even believe in. He didn't even write it. He don't even know who wrote it. But let's play this again because I want the people in the, in the back to hear what he said. And I'm, eager to hear, I'm eager to hear, I'm eager to hear next from my good <laughs> friends and outstanding leaders. Sounds from <laughs> How does <did> some... How <laughs> How <laughs> I can't stop laughing. How did this dude <laughs> even run for president? Somebody explain. How did this guy make it this far? Look at just look at Joe Biden. Look at how he just. I, I, I'm gonna play a little bit more. Just look at how he just stuttering over reading the teleprompter. He's the president of the greatest country on planet Earth, and look at this guy. Merkel about her thoughts on the way forward together. So let me conclude with this. We cannot allow self-doubt to hinder our ability to engage each other or the larger world. The last four years have been hard, but Europe and the United States have to lead with confidence once more, with faith in our capacities. Bruh, get, get off my screen before I scream. The guy is nuts. He can't talk straight. Nothing that he's saying it even sounds like it's coming from his heart. He's just talking on TV. The biggest thing that I want y'all to take away from this is the media will not make a big deal out of this. He slipped and said the N-word. People on the blogs ain't going to make a big deal out of it. Oh, he's just misspoke. If this was President Trump, he could have literally misspoke and corrected himself in the same sentence. They'll cut the part out where he said the N-word. Matter of fact, they won't put no context. They'll put the N-word, make it run on television for 24, I mean, 48 hours. In the next debate, they will be saying that he said the N-word because he's insensitive to black and brown bodies. And they will be running this every day. 
There will be no stop. There will be no ceasing. They will have it written into, into our history books that President Trump said the N-word on national TV, which is a dog whistle to white folks uh, racist in America. That's exactly what they would do. But because it's Joe Biden, he get to get away with murder. He can say whatever he want to say. He can be as r ridiculous as he, as he is, and nobody's going to chastise him. But you know your boy B. Tatum going to call you out on it. See, I got some more for you because this ain't the only thing that this administration is doing, and everybody that's paying attention can tell these people are, 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 are far worse than what they even tried to say Trump was. They're far worse than this. His press secretary, and I'm going to show you on this next video, his press secretary when asked about children in cages, remember they, they made Trump out to be the devil and that he was a Nazi for the cages that Obama started? Well, they doing the same thing now. She admitted in the press conference that they're opening up the facilities to put kids in cages. And because it's the Biden administration, everybody act like it's okay. But it's not okay with me and it's not okay with you. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what I said. Is B. Tatum losing his mind? or am I on to something, make sure you visit beatenblackandblue.com to get my brand new book, Policing in America, from B. Tatum's perspective. It's a really, really well thought out book. You're going to get a lot from it. I didn't take a lot of time writing a book this thick. I wrote something you can read on a flight or two, and you can get a lot of information that's packed into a small or circumference of, of, of a book. And, and also I want to add that I interviewed other officers in this book, and they gave incredible insight to, to not only my experiences, but to another, I guess, uh, genre of experiences from other people that, pe that all of you guys who read the book can draw from. So I love you. Thank you in advance for supporting me. And I'll see you in the next video.